My name is Esteban Servat. I come from Argentina. I'm a scientist and I became an environmental activist uh, in 2018 when fracking came to our area. We were building an eco village in Mendoza province in Argentina, which happens to be part of Vaca Muerta. That is the second largest shale gas basin in the world, a real carbon bomb that's going to consume more than 11% of the global carbon budget. So I was forced to become an activist and we got a secret report from the, that the government was hiding. We got it from a whistleblower showing contamination of the underground water tables by fracking. So we created a platform called EcoLeaks and published the document. And this helped create a mass environmental movement with tens of thousands of people in Mendoza that really threatened the continuity of the entirety of Vaca Muerta. And so, as in many cases of the Global South, we were harshly uh, persecuted. Many of our comrades were put in jail or have, had to go into internal exiles. And in my case, I got the highest number of criminal cases fabricated than anybody uh, for fighting fracking. Uh, and that threats, which uh, continued to intensify until in 2019, they began threatening my family and my girlfriend. And with her, we decided to come to, to Germany. Uh, this is four years ago in 2019. Um, and in Europe, since I arrived, I've been busy building international solidarity networks, trying to show, to shed light on the environmental crimes of these multinational companies, most of which are from the global north, like Total from France, Wintersal from Germany, BP from England, Shell now from England as well. Equinor from Norway and so on and so we've been working with multiple grassroots movements Extinction Rebellion and the Gelende, Fridays for Future and many many others and I'm here in Denmark today because this is the consequence of uh, some of this work that we've been doing and that today I've been singled out for prosecution out of a group of more than 20 people that occupy the Scandinavian headquarters of Total in Copenhagen and that was at the end of 2021. I was the only person from the group that was from the Global South and coming directly from the front lines of fighting Total and other multinationals uh, against fracking. And I also confronted the CEO of Total uh, for Scandinavia, for, for Denmark during the action. And, and well, it turned out that they singled me out for prosecution. So we just had the court case today. Um, and Dharma has played an important role because it was here already two years ago where we initiated the Total Must Fall campaign during a climate um, activist school here in Denmark that I was invited to speak at. And I think there is a lot of potential to continue doing this work because Total is the largest fossil fuel company operating in, um, in Denmark and we must target it. And um, as a result of all of these international mobilizations against extractivist companies that we've been fighting, uh, we also created a movement over the last year and a half that is called Debt for Climate because we realized that we're fighting fracking or mega mining or deforestation and doing great mobilizations around the world, but it's never enough to stop the destruction. And with many comrades around the world, we understood that debt is a formidable common denominator where most of the countries of the Global South are, uh, this is all a continuity of colonialism. Colonialism today has taken the form of debt, and debt is forcing the Global South countries to continue extracting fossil fuels and other materials to be able to service those unpayable debts. So we are demanding to cancel the debt of the Global South in order that we can have a chance to afford a self-determined just transition, which at the same time would enable us to stop the extractivism and leave trillions of dollars of fossil fuels in the ground.